Beginning in 2011, new top load washers use less water and are significantly more energy efficient than traditional top load washers. These washers operate and sound different than traditional agitator washers. Let's look at a few of the differences. Before starting the cycle, look for the Energy Star logo on the console. If you have an Energy Star qualified washer, a high efficiency or HE detergent that produces less suds is needed for cleaning and rinsing. Look for the HE label on the box or bottle. If there is no Energy Star logo, you can use regular detergent or HE detergent. Add the measured detergent into the bottom of the wash basket. Be sure to add the detergent before you load the clothes. Because these washers use less water than traditional washers, detergent sitting on top of the clothes could lead to staining. If you wish to use fabric softener, add the measured amount into the fabric softener dispenser at the top of the agitator. Be sure to dilute with water just to the top of the dispenser. If your washer does not have an agitator, use the downy ball included with your washer. Add measured fabric softener into the downy ball. There is no need to add water. Now, load the washer. Add items in loose heaps evenly around the basket wall. For best results, load the items no higher than the top of the basket. Close the lid and select your desired cycle. It is important to understand that each cycle has been designed to optimally clean specific load types and soil levels. For example, we are selecting the normal regular cycle because we have an average size load of everyday wear with light to medium soils. If we had this load with heavy soils or a larger load, we would select the heavy duty cycle. More details on these load types and soil levels can be found on the cycle guide page of the use and care guide. Select the water level based on your load size and the water temperature appropriate for the items in the load. When using fabric softener, you will also need to select the fabric softener switch to ensure dispensing with the proper amount of rinse water. Press the start button to begin the cycle. The sensing light will turn on and you will hear the lid lock, unlock, and lock again in order to allow for proper load sensing. Let's take a listen. Locking the lid allows for high-speed spinning. Once the lid is locked, these washers work differently by sensing an out-of-balance load. The first thing you will notice is that no water enters the washer for up to two to three minutes. The washer is determining if there is a potential out-of-balance load through a series of spins of the dry load. After the balance has been determined, the washer adds water based on the selected water level. If you need to add a garment after the lid has locked, press the start pause button to pause the cycle. The lid LED will begin to blink and the lid will unlock once the basket has come to a complete stop. Be sure to close the lid and press start to continue the cycle. You will hear the lid lock again. This washer will clean the load effectively and efficiently through the following actions. The agitator moves the clothes down the center to the bottom of the wash basket and back up the sides of the wash basket to aid cleaning. The combined action of the agitator and basket move the load through the water. Items will be wet but may not be completely underwater. This is normal and still provides excellent cleaning while saving water and energy. At the end of the wash cycle, there will be a pause to allow the clothes to soak. 
the wash water will empty through the drain hose at the back of the washer. Let's listen to normal drain sounds. After draining the water, another pause will occur, followed by a short spin with water entering the wash basket to help knock down any remaining suds. Some cycles have spray rinses. With these rinses, you will only hear water coming into the washer for a short period while the basket spins slowly. Please see the Use and Care Cycle Guide for more information on rinsing. During the final spin, the washer spins the load at variable speeds in order to protect clothing, maintain balance, and maximize water removal. The basket progresses through periods of spinning and coasting to achieve the highest spin speed, which saves drying time and energy. If the load is out of balance, the washer will proceed through a series of agitation and slow spins while adding water in an attempt to correct the out of balance situation. This will add time to the total cycle time. While the basket is coasting to a final stop, you may not hear any sounds coming from the washer. With the done indicator lid, lift the lid and remove the load. While these washers operate and sound differently than a traditional agitator washer, they provide better, gentler cleaning while using less water and energy.